amazing artist. I hope you're having a fabulous week so far. I know it's only Tuesday, but I really hope that you're having a great day today. Um, this is week five of our Henri Rousseau Tigers. We have done so much during this project. We made a mono print tiger. We created this beautiful jungle leaf paper. We cut out a bunch of different leaf shapes and glued it around our tiger. And we also made this super cool like flower paper that we're going to use today to create our jungle flowers to also fit around our tiger. All right, so today you're going to need your artwork, your collage, your tiger with your jungle leaves collaged onto it. You're going to need this. Um, these are two coffee filters that we colored and sprayed and those colors just kind of melted into each other and turned out absolutely beautiful. Um, you did not have to use coffee filters if you didn't have those. You could just do this on regular paper. All I did was color it and spray it with some water and um, oh, I colored it with washable markers by the way, these kind Crayola washable markers. Um, if you use permanent markers, this will not work because um, the washable markers can be washed away with water. So they kind of dissolve with the water and they meld together and blend together to create this beautiful, beautiful paper that we are going to use for our flowers. So once you've caught up this far, you have your tires, you have your flower jungle paper. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and some glue. As we know, Miss M loves to use the famous glue cup and glue brush. And this is just a regular white glue um, from a glue bottle and I just squirt it in here because it's so much easier to control where your glue is going when you have a little brush and you can just dot it wherever you want it but if you only have a glue stick you can use that if you only have a glue bottle you can use that my friends and if you don't have glue at all you can actually just use tape so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so I just moved my tiger off to the side because the first thing that I want to do is actually draw my flower shapes and I forgot to tell you you're also going to need a pencil so there's a lot of different flower shapes that you could do I'm going to show you a few and you can choose which ones you want to do for your flowers and I'm going to draw my flower shapes with a marker so that you guys can see it better but I definitely recommend using a pencil so that whenever you cut them out you won't see the outline of whatever flower shape you have chosen so if you're doing this at home use a pencil but Miss M is going to use a black marker so that you can see these shapes a little bit better so one option is you could do some petal shapes and then you can collage those petal shapes together to make one flower so I want to do that and for my petal shapes I'm just gonna do some ellipse shapes and that is um, two dots on either side and then we're gonna connect them with a curved line just like that on the top and on the bottom and that's called an ellipse shape that is kind of like an oval but it has two pointed ends instead of rounded ends and we can do as many ellipse shapes as you want to I think I want one two three four five petals for this flower so I'm gonna do five ellipse shapes and these ellipses are going to turn into one beautiful flower on my collage Okay, so there's one flower with my ellipse shapes. You could also do just a regular normal flower that you might see outside. And it's just some curved shapes together. So these are the petals and I'm just doing big upside down U's connected to each other. And I'm running out of space here, but that's okay. I'm just gonna squeeze it in. So that's another option that you have. You could also do kind of a pointy flower and Henri Rousseau used this shape a lot whenever he was doing his um, jungles and his paintings. So we're just going to start with a straight line and we're going to make some points. I'm going to draw a diagonal line, another point, and every time our point is slowly moving over so it's kind of changing where the point is going so over here it was pointing this way then it came up it's kind of like a zigzag and then we're going to connect it down to that first line that we made that first 
horizontal straight line. So that's one shape. That's kind of like the side of a flower, side view of a flower. These are gonna be more of um, front views of the flower. And another shape that you could do is kind of like a tulip shape. And that is just, um, pretend like you're making the letter U. And right at this corner of our U, we're gonna draw a curve down. And on the other edge, we're gonna draw another curve down. And then they're gonna come up and meet at one curve. So that's also a beautiful shape. So here you go, there's lots of different shapes that you could use for your flowers. You could make individual petals and then glue them together later, or you can use just regular flower shapes and cut them out and glue them on just as they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish um, drawing all of my flower shapes on my coffee filters and I'll be right back to show you the next step. So there are all my flowers that I'm going to cut out and we are just going to be very, very careful whenever we cut this out because these coffee filters are very, very delicate, my friends. So we want to make sure that we're taking our time and not rushing because then our flowers might actually rip. So just be super duper careful while you are cutting these out and put them in a safe spot because this paper is very thin too and it wants to kind of fly away. So if you have a fan on or something, then your petals might want to start flying away. So just make sure that you keep them in a safe spot while you're cutting them out. And of course, I'm using my best scissor safety while I'm doing this. Very gentle with my delicate flowers. Okay. And once I cut out one flower, I wanna go ahead and glue that down. So I cut out these three petal shapes and I'm gonna glue them to make a flower on my collage. So I'm gonna take my petal shapes and I'm gonna decide where I want them on my picture. Okay, and I think right there is perfect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue them down. And with this thin coffee filter, we really do not need a lot of glue because it's gonna get super messy and it might actually rip our tissue paper because this paper is not very strong. And if we get it too wet, it's gonna start wrinkling and um, kind of falling apart. So just make sure you're careful with it while you're gluing it down. So I just put a little tiny bit of glue down and I glued it on my collage. Just a little bit goes a long way. All right, so there's one flower done. It's already looking beautiful. Let's go ahead and cut out another flower and glue that one on. So I think I wanna do this one next. Just remember when you're cutting into your coffee filter to go super slow and be very gentle with it while you're cutting. Sometimes it's easier just to clip off um, this extra coffee filter because it can get a little bit heavy on our flower shape. So if it helps you to do that, then you can definitely do that. All right, so there is another flower shape. Um, and after you cut out a shape, we're gonna bring back our um, tiger and we're gonna glue it down. Remember you do not need a lot of glue um, to glue these delicate flowers onto your collage. Just a little bit goes a very long way and I want to glue this one right here. And I'm just carefully patting it down with my fingers because it does kind of want to move around a little bit 
but I'm just being very careful because I really don't want to rip my flowers. And there is another beautiful flower. So it's starting to come together. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out all of my flowers and glue them down. And then I'll be back to show you what my final Rousseau Tiger looks like. all of my um, flowers have been cut out and glued on and uh, once this glue dries I think I'm gonna be able to see my flowers a lot more because they're a little bit wet right now so you can't see them as well but as that glue dries like over here the um, colors of your flowers will start to pop a lot more I didn't use all of my flowers I still had two left over so you might not use all of your flowers and that's perfectly fine um, we just want to make sure that we have flowers going all the way around our tiger. And let me count how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. I have eleven flowers all together. Um, I think you should have at least ten flowers, okay? At least ten, but you can also have more if you want to. And some of your flowers can hang off the edge like our leaves did last time. So you can be thinking about that too while you're adding your flowers. You can get super creative with your flower shapes, how big your flowers are, how small they are, whatever you want. I seriously cannot wait to see how your final Henri Rousseau Tigers turn out. I know they're going to be amazing because you guys are amazing. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.